Hey, it's Thaddeus again with the EMF Protection Course, and I am here in Austin at Paleo FX with the best building biologist in the entire country, Brian Hoyer. Brian runs a company called Shielded Healing. He goes out to people's homes all over the country, like Dr. Mercola, Ben Greenfield, tons of others, and measures their home for EMF, tells them where the hot sources, the hot spots of EMF are, and then he helps them mitigate all that EMF. This is the genius on EMF in this country, and we're gonna let Brian talk about the EMF here in this small section of Paleo FX. Do you even know what the most harmful EMF or microwave radiation is at your home? Oh my God, don't ever, ever, ever do that. Oh, I got a text. Oh, I'm on the oh internet. Oh my gosh. Do I need to be taller? Yes, oh, much better. Oh, look at it, that's our intro. <laughs> You can't call it an intro if you say intro. So I'll let Brian introduce himself, and then we're gonna go around and show you a few cool things. Hey guys, so, we're good? Go. Okay, so we have here a lot going on, and so I'm gonna try to break it down as easy as possible so that it's, it's really simple to understand. So come on with me, I'm gonna show you the meters, that's the easiest way to explain things over here. So, there's different meters that measure different things, and there's different types of EMF. So there's never one solution to all your EMF problems. All right, so these three right here uh, measure wireless radiation from towers, and you can hear that when I turn the volume up. So that's all the cell phone radio towers. Cell phones, Wi-Fi, all that stuff kind of jumbled together. That's what you're hearing there. So that's all microwave radiation. All microwave radio frequency radiation. Okay. And then this one actually measures all the different types of frequencies at once. So it breaks it down into the different powers and, and uh, Wi-Fi and whether it's your cell phone or whatever. Okay, so that's one type. There's six stressors I test for when I do a home assessment. Um, another one is electric fields. That's what this one's measuring. And so, when you ever you get near something that has electricity, you have um, you have a electric field. So there's some cords over here. And that's just like the wiring in people's walls, and so that's stimulating muscle contraction and uh, causing a sympathetic response at night when you're supposed to have a parasympathetic sleeping, uh, rejuvenating, relaxing, and healing uh, eight hours. And so you're not getting that when you're stimulated by all this, these electric fields and the radio frequencies. So that's two. Another one is magnetic fields. That's what this one measures. And so we have a, like a transformer over here, a little break, breaker box, a temporary breaker box set up. When you get really close to that, you see it goes up to like 13, 14 milligauss. Some people have this right in their bedroom and they got their bed really close to it. Another thing that happens that I found here is there's, there's actually a wiring error in the extension cord uh, that they set up. And so the, the neutral wire is going in a different direction. It's causing this unequal current that's uh, creating a magnetic field. So you can even measure that by just going on this cord here. A normal cord would be around one milligauss or less. But this one's got a significant magnetic field even about two or three feet out from the cord. All right, so that's the second type. That's where, you know, I use this to screen for wiring errors in people's homes and that sort of thing. And uh, just wanted to show another demonstration over here. Um, of dirty electricity. So this is a meter that measures it. It's very simple to use. You just plug it in to the outlet. And this is reading the dirty electricity. You hear all of that sound in there. It's thousands of different frequencies riding on the 60 hertz uh, electrical. And so that's damaging. It penetrates the body even further. Uh, it causes a raise in your blood sugar and cortisol levels and it's just something that you definitely don't want in your house. And so this, this meter is really simple to use. You just plug it in and you can hear it. And then there's filtering technology that you can use to fix all, all these issues. Um, one thing that I really like to explain to people with electric fields is that you need to actually ground your body in order to get an accurate measurement. And we're gonna kind of demonstrate that for you right now. Um, 
by using this grounding cable. So we'll just plug that in. And I'll show you. So there's a little piece of metal on the bottom of this meter that you can see right there. And if I just touch this to this stand here, I'm getting about 79 volts per meter. Now if I touch my finger to the end of it, you see how it doubles it. Now I'm going to come over here and, and actually I'm going to ground my body. So I'm going to touch this. And you can see that I'm actually now I'm getting a true measurement and it's like six or seven times greater than before. So what that means is a lot of people are buying these electric field meters, they're going around and measuring these things in their house, and they're measuring like this, thinking that they have a good reading, or oh, it's not that bad, but in actuality, it's more like this. Extremely high. And so you always have to ground your body or ground your meter when you're measuring electric fields. That's why the body voltage meter is the ultimate test to do that. You get a regular multimeter, put it on the voltage setting with a little squiggly line over the top of the V, and then connect the ground to the COM port and plug that into the wall. And then you can test your body voltage. You do that in your bed, in your office, wherever you're spending a lot of time. Nice. Thanks, Ryan. You're welcome.